What's up guys? Welcome back to another one of my hunting videos. You guys must be wondering what I'm holding here. This is the arrow that I use on the hunt. But before I let you guys in on the story, stick around and enjoy the video. So on this day, I took advantage of the light to moderate southwest winds. And as usual, I got to my glassing spot very quietly. I don't know if you guys know, but Manel is very dry and everything's crunchy. So you have to go quietly or else you'll spook every game within 100 yards of you. But first things first, after I sit down, I normally knock an arrow to get my bow ready for action. Then pre-range every boulders and trees along my shootable lane. And right off the bat, there was already a doe and a spike starting to feed out of the trees from the right. I was debating whether to take a shot at the spike or let him go. But as I rearranged him at 55 yards, something else caught my eyes and something was moving on top of the tree line. I wasn't really sure what it was, but when I got a glimpse of antler tips, things got exciting very quickly
this point, the four-point buck was presenting me a 64-yard perfect broadside shot, and I wasn't about to let it pass by. I mean, it's it's rare that I run into a four-point buck, let alone this caliber of a buck. So we'll see what happens. At this point, I just made a 64-yard shot on this buck, and I grabbed my cell phone real fast and trying to freehand to get some footage of this buck running away against my binos. So, pardon the shakes, guys. Oh, guys. My arrow is sticking out on him. Sixty four yards. it guys so I just been put a shot on a banger buck from Manele 64 yards across the gulch the wind is in my favor I was here 430 and then the winds coming from the ocean so it's kind of heating my face and they was feeding sideways to the left and they came out from that let me flip the camera. So the whole herd came out and fed from under that tree. They were slowly feeding over there. There was a couple of decent bucks with them. There were four bucks total and about three does. So they fed. He fed and then the two bucks was above there and he was standing 64 yards to the left of that tree. And I was kind of debating if I was going to take that 60 something yards, but I did take a 65 yarder shot before and ma managed to harvest a doe and I was confident in that shot. So I let it rip and you guys saw him go up that ridge last. So with my um, arrow sticking up, it looks high, but I'm going to give him time. It's now... 515 so I got a good couple of hours of light left and I definitely gonna give him all the time he need before it gets dark because I think he's the buck I've been looking for I called diamond from February the first time I come hunt down here I'm pretty sure he was in my epic video with all that bunch of bucks he was velvet then i saw him running up the hill after i made that shot so i think that's him he's wide he's four pointer he's a banner guys so that wasn't so bad you get stuck around for over 10 minutes and thank you for that so this arrow i was kind of debating on whether i'll be putting up this hunt on my youtube channel but i shot the buck June 9th this year and two months later a fellow hunter told me that his friend found a horn that was about two months old and he left it there so he told me to go check it out it's by the stone walls at Manele so I went down there and hiked up by the stone wall and guess what I found I found these two miles from where I shot that buck and this is the arrow that I shoot 
that's the broad head that I use right there it's a rage um, chisel tip and as you can see the blade is kind of mangled I don't know if you guys can see that but it's an Easton Aftermath that's the arrow that I shoot it's the same arrows that I have right here same exact length Easton Aftermaths but I have long since ran out of the chisel tip and been using this arrow but yeah I found it two miles from where I shot them and looked for that horn but couldn't find it after that shot that I made in that video I went looking for that buck like five days looked for it but I didn't go about two miles up but I found this 10 yards from the stone wall on the main trail looked around in that area but I couldn't find that buck but all I wanted was one closure hoping that somebody would have found that buck and took it and respected it like how I would have but I'm not sure I'm not sure if he got it or he went back and take it because I, I didn't find it but if you ask me if I would take that shot again given the opportunity on a caliber of a buck like that yes I would I mean it's called hunting you can be on your highest of highs and you can also be on your lowest of lows especially in bow hunting so with that mahalos for watching guys and see you guys on the next video and I'll be dropping one video each week from this video right here from now on just to keep up so if you guys are not a subscriber yet click that subscribe button all right gang